22nd of May. I wanted to update you a little bit about my knitting. I wanted to knit the terrazzo slipover uh, by Petit Knit and I finally started knitting it. I've made my swatch and then I waited a little bit before I actually started the, the project because I need some time in between so yeah. I have set a started starting date. Uh, it was the 1st of May and we are the 22nd of May so what did I do during these three weeks? Not much to be honest. I really take my time to knit this project and I had to start over because I made a mistake. It's on me, not on her instructions, but I misread something. Uh, instead of reading rows, I read stitches. What I read is that I have to knit back and forth uh, a certain number of stitches, but she was asking you to knit back and forth, forth, <laughs> that's a hard word, uh, a certain number of rows, not stitches. And as I was beginning uh, this project, I was wondering why the heck is she asking us to knit fewer stitches than the number we've cast it on at the beginning. But it didn't click. I don't know how my brain works. Really, it, it really amazes me how much I can be dumb sometimes. I had to start over, so that's what I did. And as far as it goes, everything is fine. Here's the back. You start to knit the back and I've just finished the increasing section and my guess is that maybe this part is the one of the part of the armhole so but I'm sure that now I'm going in the right direction <laughs> anyway just wanted to pop up here to give you a little bit of an update of my knitting and uh, now I feel like I want to knit again on this project uh, because it's been quite a while since I finished this little piece of knitting. Other than that, everything is going well um, and I'm just gonna keep on knitting it. There are no sleeves, there are mainly stuck in it stitches, so I think if I'm doing good if I don't make any more mistake or yeah uh, can it can be finished in uh, very quickly I think but yes I don't know I just have to be a little bit more motivated and my knitting mojo is kind of on and off this this day so we'll see we'll see what happens
pas, mais qui va commencer un petit peu à pourrir. Au lieu de l'acheter à la poubelle, tu peux en faire du jus, tu peux faire une tarte, de la confiture. Mm -hmm. Hello, so today it is Sunday 23rd of May, yesterday I have knitted quite a bit. I have made um, a little bit of progress on my knitting project. Um, I've just finished the back and the front, as you can see. And I've just joined uh, here to start to knit in the round for the body. And uh, last night I realized something. When you have to start the project, she asks you to use four millimeters. And for my swatch, I used five millimeters to uh, get the gauge. My gauge was a little bit looser than hers, but it was okay. Last night, I was wondering why is she asking us to use four millimeters needles uh, starting from the beginning of the project? It was not, uh, I didn't need any ribbings, which would have made sense if uh, we had started by ribbings, but no. And uh, now that I, I am at the part where you have to knit uh, in the round, she still asks you to knit with four millimeters. And uh, it was quite strange to me because I was waiting for uh, the instruction to tell us that now you have to switch to five millimeter. The gauge that she got was with four millimeters needle sizes. And I told myself, oh my God, I was wrong from the very beginning of this project. Oh my God. <laughs> it means that I've swatched with five millimeter and then I start in my project with four millimeters so I don't know what was my gauge and I had to check of course and luckily I was on point so I think I'm lucky I was wondering if I should change to five millimeter starting uh, from now because in the round you keep on uh, um, knitting and you don't have to purl anymore. So I'm a little bit concerned about the fact that maybe uh, my gauge would get a little bit more, a uh, little bit tighter uh, if I knit in the round. So I don't know. I don't have that much of a difference between knitting in the round and knitting flat. I don't see a lot of difference in my tension, so maybe I will keep on knitting with five, four millimeters. So yes, so here I am today. Um, the upper part of the body is done, and now you just have to knit straight for a certain uh, length. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be only stockinette stitch. It's gonna be very easy. Other than that, everything is going well. And uh, I'm just wondering what is going on with my brain. And uh, yeah, sometimes I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> 
I feel like a mess sometimes and maybe because I was so convinced that uh, to get the gauge I had to use 5mm but maybe I thought that the pattern required 5mm and when I saw that she require 4 millimeter when you start the project I just didn't it didn't click for some reason so yeah I don't know <laughs> that's me so yes it's gonna be a very easy knit from now on and yeah I'll see you next time for another update <laughs>
and I'm really inspired by summer knits. I thought of this pattern I have already knitted once, which is the Papus Pullover by Midori Hirose. I made it once and I was quite disappointed, not by the pattern, but by my yarn choice. I knitted it out of Drops Merino and I made a striped version of it and the other yarn I chose was Fingering Weight Yarn by Len Vilaine. And I really like the stripes, but the only thing is that Drops Merino stretches a lot after washing the yarn. Even though I had carefully laid it flat without blocking it, it really bothered me because I knitted the three-quarter length sleeve version and my version became, after washing, a long sleeve version and it wasn't what I was going for. The other day, I wanted to give it another try. I searched for some mohair to make a very light version like what you can see on the Patterns Ravelry page. I found some mohair from a French farm, which is called La Ferme Dorée. I'm very excited to do another version of this pattern because it will be lovely to wear on dresses, especially if it's getting chilly in the morning or in the evening. So that is what I am planning to do after my terrazzo sleepover. Well, for now, I will keep on knitting this armor hole ribbings. I think it will be done very quickly as it is sleeveless, so there is not much left to do. And I will wash it, I will try it, and we'll see if I will like it, and how I will fit it in my wardrobe. 